So EA dropped the 88 plus Encore Icon player pick. Let's open up a bunch of these and see what we get. If you guys are looking for cheap, fast and reliable ultimate team coins, check out MMOEXP.com. Link in the description, save 5% using code Haber. It's an 88 rated squad and an 87 rated squad with a team of the season or team of the week. And it gives you a one of three winter wildcard team of the year, future star or ultimate birthday icon. We have two per account. Let's open up both of mine and see what we get. First one is going to be oh my word oh my word are you joking in the very first one we have gone and binked ourselves a stoichkov <laughs> he's two and a half million coins five star five star what a card by the way oh my word i'm i'm gonna try him i'm gonna put him in the team oh my word what a start what a start that is all right second one and a Dennis Burkamp. I mean, I'll take that. Five-star weak foot one, not the five-star skills, but still a decent card. 93 rated. I'll happily take that. Is he expensive? No, he's about 150-ish K. I mean, Stoichkov is literally two and a half million coins. The servers are, are not are the lagging, so it's tough. But he's about two and a half mil. One of the best foot birthday icons you can get. I mean, that is insane. That is absolutely nuts. We absolutely take that. Get in there. We joined late, but that is a very, very good player pick. I joined as he was opening the bar. I was on the wrong screen. Blanc is solid. Blanc's in my main team still, and I've packed, like, so many amazing team of the season defenders, and Blanc's still my main CB. And then Petr Cech, who's my main goalie. EA yeah, just giving this guy all my icons. Cech's my goalie because he's absolutely bonkers, and then Blanc is my CB. Both are so good in game. I don't know if Blanc's still expensive or not. I know he's worth quite a bit before. Um, he has two different icons. I didn't even know he had two different icons. I don't know which one I have. But he's about 400k. Solid. All right, two more icon player picks now. What are we saying? That was the five-star weak foot Blanc as well. So he's worth a little bit more because it's obviously better to have him as a five-star weak foot as a CB. Uh, then he's got Ian Wright, who, when he came out, actually was a nice card too. I forgot that some of these foot birthday icons are actually quite nice. Like, they're quite fun cards. He's still about 250k as well. Second icon pick is going to be Zanetti. Do you know, I'm not even going to lie. So these icon picks aren't that bad. They're not great, but they're not that bad. It's the five-star skills in there is about 400k. They seem to actually be pretty decent today. Um, or at least this rotation at the moment does not seem to be too bad. And a lot of these cards are definitely still usable, unless you've been lucky enough to pack some absolutely insane team of the seasons, which I know a lot of you guys have. All right, 384 plus player picks and an icon pick as well now. Team of the seasons, please, EA. And then like a team of the year, you know, Mia Ham or something would be nice too. Ooh, 90 rated Thibaut Courtois. 90 rated Thibaut Courtois, solid. 86 rated Rafael Leao is not as solid. Um, third and final one, go on, blue. We've not had a blue in one of these in actually quite a while, have we? Last blue was Jamie Vardy. That's probably about solid 12 player picks ago. Here we have another icon player pick, though, which seems to be giving out at the moment. What we got? I'd be happy with that as a United fan. You know, I'm wearing a United shirt today, but I can understand that I am significantly by myself in that regard. We have some 82 plus player picks now. EA dropped these as like the repeatable player picks this week. And I just think that's not bad. 82 plus player picks are pretty decent. I've not looked at how expensive they are though, um, or what the requirements are, but they're definitely better than 80 plus player picks. I thought 80 plus player picks during team of the season was a bit much. There seems to be about 3K a player pick. Um, two rares, eight players in the squad. That's not bad. All right. No team of seasons in them, though. But that's not bad, to be fair. That's actually pretty decent. We might have to build a few of those and see how, how we get on. I might build some and then save them for La Liga team of the season this week. So, because I feel like Vinicius Junior, Bellingham and whatnot, you want as much as you can. Ooh, foot birthday, Schweiny. Okay, it's not like, it's not a super exciting card. People aren't going to care that much about it. But I care because he played for United. So, it's a fun one. Um, I do think it's weird, though. His, like, fist looks like it's a shadow in the card. No, you dare. Come on, EA. Cook for us. There we go. Oh, I mean, it's still not bad. Don't get me wrong. It's still not bad. I don't know if she's super expensive, though, but it's like, it's just a troll, isn't it? She's she's, she's 55k. She's 60k, basically. It's it's all right, but like, it's still a troll. Why couldn't that have been Mbappe, you know? Uh, at least we do have a blue from an 84 plus player pick for the first time in about 12. All right, Jack's got his icon player pick next. Let's see what Jack gets from his icon player pick. Come on, EA. Good team of the year. Team of the year icon, R9. Two team of the years. Larm's not bad. 
Lom's still usable. I've played against Lom multiple times this weekend, and he's actually still solid from the SBC coming out. So, yeah, I mean, we'll take it. All right, Hayden's icon pick next. I'm actually, like, icon picks are usually a complete fodder sink. This week, they are still a bit of a fodder sink, but they seem to be okay. Oh, that is a cold image for uh, Schweine, isn't it? With the, with the, with the white grey hair. Love that. They seem to be okay this week. They seem to be not as much of a fodder sink this week. The rotation seems to be okay. My boy Zalem now has got his player pick content as well. Let's see what he gets from his player picks. 84 plus is first. He's got Lu Luka Modric. Go on, Luka Modric. Love that. Second one is Tony Cruz, his midfield compatriot. And the third one is going to be Antoine Griezmann. Look at that. that look at that. The three staples of La Liga football. Then he's got, ooh, birthday Rivaldo. Interesting. Is that card expensive? I rarely see that card. And the second one's going to be birthday Gerard. I think, like, not, not insane, but not horrendous. Bradley Barkler for the look. Pay out, please. Another Schweine. Does seem very common in these, doesn't he? Big Schwine dog. Who, again, he's not an amazing card. I just think he's, I just like him because he played for United, you know? Uh, what's the second one going to say? Come on, team of the year, R9. Oh, look at that. That's the midfield of dreams right there. That is the dream. Roy Keane and Schweine, that is the dream. Two more icon picks right here. Ooh, now that's a W. Birthday Stoichi. To be honest, birthday Sanchez ain't bad either, but birthday Stoichkov, that is a W, man. Christo Stoichkov foot birthday card, 2.6 million big ones and sanchez who he got in the last one as well he got him again i don't know how much sanchez is worth uh i believe this is the the uh skill the weak foot version sorry who's like 147k so still not bad 2.6 mil for the five star five star birthday stoichkov is a big w big w fair play all right more player pick content of course because that's why we're here. We're here for player pick content aren't we um these icon picks they have not been too bad like in terms of how, how bad icon picks have been in the past, like, these at least are paying out some half-decent cards, you know? And it does seem like, although we're getting a lot of Schweinsteigers, like, we're not getting full Winter Wildcard player picks much. Do you know what I mean? So it doesn't seem like they're as bad as previous previous years. Uh, this one's going to be mm, another Schweiny. Fair enough. As I say that, it is another Schweinsteiger. Um, come on, EA. Let's get, like, another Stoichi. Let's get players like that. Come on. Let's get some monster Ws here. Here we go. That one's not great. <laughs> we did get Stoichkov though, just not the right one. All right, here we go. Team of the year icon, please, EA. Something good. Here we go. What's up, brother? Never mind. Well, Perez is kind of doing that, isn't he? So, uh, well, they both are. Ian Wright and Perez are both holding the finger up like that. That's kind of weird. Mike Theory. All right, we go again. One of three. VJ team of the year, FS or UBD icon. UBD, Econ, Schweinsteiger, again. All right, we have two more now for my boy Cridian. Here we go. Oh, now that is a big W. Carlos Alberto birthday card is a big W, man. That is a really nice card. 1.1, 1.2 million coins. This card can still play CB, right? I wouldn't know because I don't... I, 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 I'm assuming MS is like CB. I think. Um, what a card, by the way. What a card. Relentless and anticipate on that card as well. That is a big W. All right, next one. What are we saying, EA? Next one's going to be... Not not as great. It's uh, it's sadly just Larson. But you still take it. That's solid. All right, we have another icon player pick now. What are we saying, EA? Sanchez again. Sanchez is not bad at all, to be fair. I think that's the five-star skill version as well. He might be worth a little bit more than the five-star weak foot version. And this server's broke. So... He's had these rewards for two days and waited for me to open them, which, by the way, thank you very much. Uh, I wonder if rewards are better if you wait to open them. Let's find out. So first player pick is going to be Del Castillo. That's incredibly, like, it, it, that's very common. Del Castillo is just insanely common in these now. Ever since they patched them, he has been one of the most common players in the whole game. And next one's going to be Thiago Santos or Zakaria. Yeah. That is not fun. Very, quite bad. Very bad. Some Tots Guarantee Packs now as well. What are we saying? First one is going to be Belgium. Centre-back. Out of Eroud at least. 
No, it's Vertonghen. Aldevia would have been nicer because he's like 93 rated, so at very worst would have been decent fodder. I don't actually know what the price of Aldevia even is. The new Mixed League Tots only came out yesterday. Um, and have you got some actually really nice cards? He's actually 300k to be fair, Aldevia. I didn't realize he'd be that much, but it is a nice looking card. That being said, you know, we didn't back him. So I don't know why we're acting as if we did. Um, all right. So next, oops, that's a 50k pack. No blue either. I'm not going to lie to you. EA really destroyed 50k and 100k packs, didn't they? They really did. It just There's no excitement about opening a 50k pack anymore. I literally remember back in FIFA 17, you'd play foot champions, right? Get gold one, and you'd get two 100k packs and 50k. And you would be buzzing to open up your 100k packs for gold one. Be old of V-Roll, please. Back to back Vertonghen, are you joking? Back to back Vertonghen. Really? That is a joke. All right, third and final guaranteed tots pack now. Come on, EA. Don't be Vertonghen now. England. Oh, hang on. <gasps> uh, you know what? It's not bad. It's not bad. That's actually a really decent card in game. I'm not going to lie to you. Thought it might have been Foden. I got very, very, very excited there. I thought it might have been Foden. But that card is decent in game. That Him with Bruiser, by the way. It's like having Hullet in the midfield. That's actually a really nice card, so we'll take that. Thank you. Right, we're watching this clip of a guaranteed Tots pack. No way. No way. Really? Tots, Mohamed Salah. Fair play. Fair play. That is, yeah, fair enough. That's that's the nation you want to see opening a guaranteed Tots pack. All right, my boy Nick has got two icon player picks and an 84 plus player pick. Let's see what he gets. Hopefully... Some good icons. At this point, you kind of need really good icons. The fact they've put winter wild cards in there is rubbish. I hate that they put winter wild cards in there. It's annoying, but it is what it is. Anyway, Dante in the 84 plus play pick is a great start. Then we've got... Oh, that's a shame. Team of the Alarm would have been quite nice if we didn't already have him. Um, Hierro. Like, why are winter wild card icons even there? Do you know what I mean? Who are the best winter wild card icons you can get? Like, Garincha and, and Yashin and whatnot? I mean, there's, I mean, there's Garincha. Um, again, quite annoying. I think Burkamp, although no one wants Burkamp, really, do they? I think he's quite a fun card. I've played against him. He's pretty decent in game. I just, no one really cares much about Burkamp, apart from maybe Arsenal fans and, and maybe like, like Dutch players that play the game. All right, Lala's opening his uh, epic League and Tots duo pack with coins. From now on, this channel will not opening, will not be opening any store packs with FC points ever again. We're done. We'll only be opening anything with coins. Um, so we will not be posting FC point content on this channel anymore. Let's see what Lala gets with the coins though. He's got himself French right wing. Imagine that was Dembele as the first one. That'd be guaranteed Mbappe, right? That just means it'd be Donnarumma. This is why you shouldn't even you shouldn't even spend FC points in the first place. Because like you're just going to get guaranteed Donnarumma packs. Not even. Not even Donnarumma. It's Lee Malou. Lee Malou. It's even worse. Hopefully, there's like a Messi in there to save us. You know, hopefully, there's a decent card in there to save us. You don't even know. You don't even know? We'll find out. What's he got in there? Save us with a good dangler. Please, EA. A good dangler for 700,000 coins. Ruben Neves does link to his team of the season, Ronaldo, at least. Um, the card, I think, actually looks pretty decent in game. I don't think he's very expensive, though, is he? He's about 80, 80 90k. Uh, you've got Smezic, you've got, you know, Haaland. It's just a fodder pack, basically. This is why This is why I say you don't even want to spend your money on this in the first place. Like, why would you even want to spend your money on this? That is poor. That is very poor. Um, at least you've got a link to your Ronaldo, though. Silver linings and that. So Rex thinks he's hilarious. He's discarded the main United badge. Yeah, you're so funny, Rex, mate. You're so funny. You're one of eight Man City fans in the entire world, mate. So, shush. <laughs> Sorry, Man City fans. That's Rex's fault. You caught a stray there. Team of the season. Medina. Nice. Cheeky little Kalo Navas there as well. Team of the season, the first 84 plus player pick. Second one's going to be Mikel Marino. Not great. And the third and final 84 plus player pick is going to be 90 Ray Courtois. So, not the worst in the world. Not amazing, but not the worst. All right. Another player pick here. Another 84 plus. It's going to be. Oh, what a pull. Go on. Moments, Jamie Vardy. He's just, he's just, he's just spamming through that. He didn't even take time to look at that card. Nice. He's actually like, he's actually about 100k. That's quite a fun card, man. Five star skills. He's got rapid finesse shot and I think chip shot plus as well. That's a fun one. 
Nice. Big man Jamie Vardy. Uh, he's also got a team of the season in the 83 times 10. Is that Hartel? No, it's Tony Cruz, which means it could be anyone behind that. Go on. Mbappe, walk out, mate. Mbappe, reveal yourself. <laughs> Single Mbappe, reveal yourself. Who is that? I can't tell it's too laggy or like too like blurry for me. I think it was Bentaleb or Del Castillo. Yeah, Bentaleb. Eh, at least it's team of the season. For an 83 times 10, you can't complain with, with a bit of fodder. With a bit of good fodder. Vardy and Del Castillo. So, sorry, Vardy and Bentaleb so far. Now for the 81 times 5. Who is it going to be? Eh? No blue. Feels bad. All right, we have three more 84 plus player picks. Tiago, lad. You like Tiago, lad? <laughs> All right, next one. What are we saying? Um, no blue again. Oof. That's triple 84s in back-to-back -back player picks there. We need like an Mbappe here or a Dembele to save us. Come on, EA. Show us a decent team of the season here, please. Ooh. 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 As Gary Neville would say, ooh. The store. The, sorry, the, the servers are not liking this at all. The servers are not having fun here at all. Third and final one. Blue. At least we did get a blue. It's just not a great one. We have got Jack's 84 plus player picks next. What are we saying, EA? Can we get some team of the seasons, please? Because those three were not great. Eh, 87 Oberdorf. At least it's a walkout. At least it's a walkout. Next one. 86 Dybala or 87 Erdegaard. Double walkout again. It's better than 84s. Come on, blue. Another Oberdorf? Another Oberdorf? What's going on? All right. Hayden's got 384 plus player picks now. Let's see if we can get something good for Hayden. Come on, EA. Sort us out, please. It's going to be Allison, 89. These are really cheap. Ultimately, these are very, very cheap. So it's not the end of the world, uh, as these are like, I think, just gold squads pretty much. But, you know, it's still not incredibly fun. And the final 84 plus player pick is going to be another 84. Nice. Right, we've got my 81 times 5 on my account now. Come on, EA. Show us a team of the season, please. Nope. Gold. Cool. Coolio. Coolio. Nice. Thank you. Wow, that's terrible. All right, I'm opening one of my Epic League and Tots Duo Guarantee Packs with coins, of course. Zero FC points, of course. Let's see what we get. 700,000 coins. Basically, only... I just want... I don't want Dembele, basically. Golovin? That pretty much guarantees we get Donnarumma, doesn't it? Pretty much guaranteed to be Donnarumma there. Yep. Oof. 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 Wouldn't mind a Messi. I have Busquets, so I would not mind a Messi. Um, I already have Donnarumma and and Golovin though. So. Oof. We get Ferdi Kadioglu, who's a baller for Fenerbahce, but, you know, not ideal. And, oof. I got another Busquets though. I'll actually take that because my Busquets is tradable. So, and he's extinct, I think. Well, kind of. I'll list him up for like 288k. So, we kind of made like a third of the pack back. So, that's not the end of the world. Not great. I'll be honest with you, not great. But at least we got some fodder and we made a third of the pack back, at least. All right, Lala's nuts. So, he's doing he's doing his second one with coins as well. I mean, crazy. Let's, you know, like, it, it's actually, you know what this is, genuinely. It's actually an advert to not open these packs. This is what I like about it we get to showcase how bad they are. So it's an advert to not open these packs. Del Castillo again. You watch him get the exact same back. Like, again. Watch it be Lee Malou again. I'm calling it right now. Lee Malou again. No, he got Donnarumma this time, to be fair. Lee Malou might be in there, though. Donnarumma this time. Any, uh, any danglers? Any cheeky dangles, EA? Zemic again, who was in the last one. This is why you shouldn't open them. It's actually like a perfect example. Look how... 700k! 700,000 coins for that. That's hilarious. All right, Mike's got 384 times three player picks to open. These seem to not be very good at all. Um, I do want to say as well, whenever we have like the best team of the seasons out, and I mean like, for example, we have Mbappe, we have Dembele, we have end game cards where people would not go and you know, buy packs if they pack them. EA don't release the 85 plus player picks or the good packs. They only release the 84 and the 83 plus player picks. You ever notice that? Very, very smelly. All right, and then Mike's second account has got three more 84 plus player picks. What are we saying? Fair enough. Also, out of curiosity, in the comments down below, how many of you guys have multiple accounts? 
I actually see this quite a lot now. I've pl I play against quite a lot of people where like their account name is like something something like Tots RTG. Like I feel like it's becoming a very popular thing now to have multiple accounts. So I'm just curious as, as to how many of you guys run multiple accounts these days. 